please stop using PDFs as lead magnets to grow your list. Turn your knowledge into an interactive experience with Canva code. This AI feature will help you build, style, and publish apps you can even sell with no coding experience required using just Canva. You can even connect them to Canva Sheets for built-in data capture. If you're interested in a fun list growth strategy or need a new passive income stream, this video is for you. Without further ado, let's hop in. I was first introduced to Canva code at Canva Create in LA. And as I talked about it from the stage, I started to think about how could this change the way that online business owners grow their list and generate passive income? You have so much intellectual property that in the past you could just say, hey, this PDF exists and people would jump at the opportunity to put in their name and email address and get your ebook. Now things are changing because of platforms like ChatGPT that isn't enough for people to come off their email address or pull out their credit card. We need to take information and make it more interactive. Canva code can help you do this. And I'm going to demo this resource inside of a Canva Pro account. If you need access to Canva Pro free for 30 days, just go to LaShondaBrown.com slash Canva. So essentially, Canva code is a way for you to build, style, and publish interactive experiences. This can live in a website, a presentation, or even a Canva doc. So what you're going to be doing is actually turning your ideas from a prompt into that interactive experience without leaving Canva. You can use this to create a tool that is a part of your website and you can customize the colors, the fonts, and the style to fit your branding. What's great about it also is you can publish it directly from Canva as well. So what we're going to do is click on code for me and that's going to take us directly inside of Canva. But if you're trying to locate this without going to the landing page first, which I will link in the description, you can click on Canva AI at the top beside templates, or you can select Canva AI on the left-hand side of your screen. When you're ready to get started with Canva code, you can simply describe your idea and it will code it for you. But I would encourage you to take a look at the suggestions at the bottom of your screen. If you are not used to using a tool like this that requires prompts, it may be helpful simply to see how they describe what they need by clicking on the option below. There's code for a pricing calculator, an interactive timeline, an interactive menu, you for a restaurant, but I'm really intrigued by a fun memory matching game. So we're going to click on that example and it's going to drop our prompt into the box at the top. From there, we can hit submit in the bottom right hand corner. Then Canva is going to start thinking. It says I'll create a vibrant team connect memory matching game that's perfect for breaking the ice in meetings. This will feature colorful emoji cards with engaging conversation starters. And as you can see, the Canva that we're used to seeing simply to create graphics is now generating code that in the past would have required a developer. So this is really exciting. And because it's generating the code and actually showing it to you, so much can be changed and modified once the actual tool or widget is created. So we're going to give it time to finish and then we're going to take a look at what it's created. On the left hand side, version one is even giving us some options for how we can customize our widget. It's saying, do you want team and group size? Do you want emoji categories, question themes, even difficulty levels, a countdown timer, or even a leaderboard? So from there, I really like the suggestions that it provided at the bottom. So we'll just select those and say, I would like for you to add and then we'll paste these in and then we'll hit submit again. So this really is a conversation. So as you start to see Canva develop your tool with Canva code, if you see something that you want to change, you can just tell it to change it for you. 
On the left-hand side, you can see actually a little report of what's been added so far. Everything from a timer system to data storage. So it says what still needs to be completed is leaderboard display logic, a data integration, score saving, and event listeners. The foundation is all in place. Should I continue completing these remaining features? We're gonna say, yes, keep going. And you can even see at the bottom, it's giving us the notification that Canva code can actually store the data. So we'll be able to access the saved data and the connected sheet. And anyone that we share this to can also access it, even if it's not shown on screen. So what we're going to do is tell Canva code to keep going developing those features, but also while you're at it, change the color scheme to black, gold, and white and make the game New Year's themed for 2026. It says, perfect, I've completely transformed your game into a stunning New Year's 2026 themed memory matching game. Complete with a black and gold color scheme, New Year's emojis, glowing effects, and 2026 card backs. And you can see here, it has completely transformed the look and feel of the game. And it only took two versions. So what we're going to do is hit publish in the top right hand corner. And that's going to give me some options here. I can use the built in Canva website or I can get my own domain. I can also click on settings to make it visible in a Google search or even a password protected. Password protecting could be a way that you essentially paywall your app. You could say, you know, for $5, you can get the password to my game, or you can say with your name and email address, you can get the password to my game. And that's how you can turn it into a lead magnet that unless you've captured some type of information from them, they won't be able to utilize the tool that you created in Canva. The last thing I wanna show you is we can click on use in a design. We're going to select website so that I can show you how you would take this particular app and actually use it to embed it on your website, whether it is hosted on Canva or not. What you'll do is you'll click on share in the top right hand corner and you'll need to select see all. From there, there is a button here that says embed. When you click on embed and click on the button again, it will generate an HTML code that you can embed on sites like Squarespace if you want to take your app built in Canva and embed it on your site. So I hope this gets you excited. I want to encourage you, go through your Google Drive folders, go through your Dropbox folders. What are some of the things that you have previously taught people in PDF form that you can take the information and make it interactive by leveraging a platform like Canva Code. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you don't already have Canva Pro and you would like to get access to a free 30-day trial while supporting the channel, go to lashondabrown.com slash Canva. Canva Grow is another Canva update that will help you grow your impact and income. If this feature is new to you, make sure you watch this video next. Until next time, ta-ta for now.